Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I have another gel polish kit review for you all. Melody Susie actually reached out to me and wanted me to review um, another one of their gel polish kits. Um, I have previously reviewed one of their gel polish kits, I will leave that video link down in the description box below but yeah I really do like their gel polishes so I'm excited to be testing out more of them I did notice that they upgraded their packaging this is really cute so it has this really nice kind of dusty rose slash pink color then it has like this floral design here with like the wrapping um, and then this part is like a sleeve so it actually slides off and then this is the actual box. I love this, it's really modern and very sleek looking. So let's pop this open. I actually don't remember what collection they sent me. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, okay. I think this might have been their winter collection if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm not gonna go through and open all of these up. I'm gonna go through and just pick some random ones here. But first, I know these over here are probably gonna be the base and top coats. So this kit does come with so this kit comes with two base coats, a shiny top coat and a matte top coat, okay? So that is really nice. And let's see what the matte top coat is looking like. Ooh, it's very yellow. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of weird, but uh, it's really yellow on the first glance here, which is kind of strange because I don't remember that from the second kit. I don't remember that from the other kit that I reviewed, but um, hopefully it doesn't show that way on the nails when you use it. But yeah, that is the matte top coat. And here is the shiny top coat. Okay, so this is clear. Y'all see the difference? Actually, I don't even think you can. Let me move this off the way. Let me show y'all the difference. So this is the shiny top coat here. Y'all see this is clear. Okay, and this is a really nice consistency. Kind of has like a, kind of like a medium medium viscosity a little bit on the thick side I think I remember these kind of putting me in the mind of like a Madame Glam when it comes to their consistency the base coat here that's what that's looking like yeah I like the consistency of this not too thin not too thick so that's what that's looking like now I'm just gonna pick out just a few of the colors to show you guys this color here looks really cool so this is G151 Ooh, that's a really pretty glitter color very nice, I like that. Let's look at 99. This looks like a nice nude color. Oh yeah. Okay, that's just a really pretty nude. Okay. H33. This kind of looks like a kind of a warm tone nude collection. Ooh, that's pretty. A really pretty gold, kind of rusty gold looking color. That's nice. And then I'll do one more here. G048. Okay, that's a really pretty nice silver color here. Very pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go through and swatch all of these and then I'll give you all my thoughts on them. First color I'm gonna swatch here is 775. And I believe this is, okay, yeah, this looks like a really pretty white color here. So I'm gonna swatch that with you guys here on camera. Very nice. So these Melody Susie gel polishes definitely they're very opaque, which is really nice. You all see that's one coat coverage. And that's one coat coverage with a white. That is not easy to pull off, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. Next, I'm gonna swatch Z082. Okay, this is a really interesting kind of a dark gray color. Okay. It's, it's like a jelly shimmer color. It's not what I was expecting, but pretty. Okay, I'll we'll go ahead and cure that. This is the Z, the G048, which is that beautiful silver glitter. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I'm gonna swatch 99. Yeah, very opaque. Yeah, these are some really good high quality polishes. I'm gonna go ahead and speed through me swatching the rest. Okay, happy people. So as I am swatching these gel polishes, I just wanted to say that I really did like the fact that this kit came with 24 different colors and it came with two base coats, a matte top coat and a shiny top coat. So I think that's a really great collection um, to be able to have when it comes to gel polishes. I mean, you get a lot of different colors to test out. 
I will say at first glance, I wasn't really all that impressed with the color selection in this kit, but as I swatched it more and definitely after I finished doing my nail set, I came to appreciate um, all of the lovely nudes that came in the in the kit, all of the kind of muted um, blues and blacks and grays. Um, so yeah, I really did end up enjoying this kit a lot. And so yeah, I would recommend it if you guys are in the market for a good gel polish kit. These gel polishes, they are very opaque. They put me in the mind of a Madame Glam gel polish. So if you guys are wanting to try Madame Glam um, with like a fraction of the cost, I would highly recommend the Melody Susie gel polishes. Like they're really good and really high quality. I did also notice too in this kit, it came with two whites. Um, so that was the second white that I'm swatching there. But yeah, highly pigmented, super creamy, super easy to work with. So yeah, I do have a discount code uh, for this gel polish kit. It is Rose. 12 and that's going to save you 12% off the Melody Susie website so if you all are interested in getting this kit and or any other products Melody Susie they you all are familiar with Melody Susie they sell nail drills they sell dust collectors um, they sell nail lamps um, acrylic brushes um, etc so um, that's what I mostly know them for and so if you all are in the market for any of those items in addition to some great high quality gel polishes um, I highly recommend it so I'll leave my discount code here on the screen as well as in the description box and so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and let you all watch me finish swatching the rest of these gel polishes and then we'll get into the final swatches so this is what all of the colors look like after they've been swatched this is a collection of 24 colors as you all can see it's a really nice um, variety of glitters nudes um, a few whites and a lot of muted blues and grays and so I'm gonna go through really quick and show you guys up close what each color looks like so this is H33 it's a really beautiful uh, gold glitter that has like some slight uh, chunky silver chunks to it 99 which is a really beautiful nude 775 which is a beautiful white White color G082 which kind of looks like a gunmetal uh, silver-ish kind of color really pretty G074 which is a really beautiful silver G186 which is a beautiful pearly purple color G48 which is a really beautiful pure silver with some chunky pieces in there G147 which is this really gorgeous kind of almost it's a gold, but it almost looks a little bit rosy as well. So I really like that. 151, a really beautiful hollow kind of pinkish color. Really pretty. 760, which is a little bit of a muted army green. 104, which is another nude. It's a little bit on the peachy side. 129, which is another nude, but a little bit more mauve Kind of has great undertones. 1093, which is another mauve nude. 1137 which is a really pretty kind of soft pinky nude 1043 which is another white color i believe this collection actually came with two whites so at the top is the 1043 and the bottom is the 775 i mean they look pretty much spot on the same to me i don't know if you all can see a difference but it looks like this came with two whites which you can never have too many whites 1105 which is kind of a purpley mauvey nude 863 which is another really pretty nude color 755 which is kind of like a, a smoky black color it's really more so like a deep deep gray um but it leans on the black it looks kind of black but it's a gray color 1322 which is a um kind of like a coffee brown 1259 which is a really pretty um almost royal blue color 1251 which is a muted blue 1284 which is a purpley a muted purple 1234 which is a muted green and 1203 which is kind of like a um, turquoise muted green almost. I don't really know how to describe this color but it is pretty. So these are all the colors that came in this collection. Um, I believe this actually was like a winter collection from Melody Susie and so I'm gonna go ahead and try to do another Valentine's Day set since you know we are in the season of love right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick the colors I want and I'm actually gonna hop in with some more press-ons. You guys I'm super excited about this press-on set because I'm gonna be trying to do some aquarium slash snow globe nails. So stay tuned <laughs> and before I hop into my press-ons this is just another quick update on how my Lissette gel nails um, hard gel overlay is, is holding up um, this nail right here um, it did get a little bit of a chip in it I was hanging up some shelves here in my office and so I did chip it 
here I tried to shave it down to make it look right but yeah overall besides that thumb it's holding up well so y'all know whenever I have product on my nails these are my favorite press-ons to do mainly because they fit over <laughs> any overlay I have on my nails and so I'm gonna be going in with my extra long square nail tips first thing I like to do is to buff off the tab um, on all the nails so I'm gonna go through and do that really quick I'm going to be using 99 h33 and 775 from the kit and so yeah first I'm gonna go in with a base coat on all of the nails just to make sure that the gel polish has something to adhere to me going in with my base coat from Melody Susie I do really like the consistency of this base coat as well I really do feel like these polishes put me in the mind of Madame Glam polishes so if you guys are wanting to try Madame Glam for like a fraction of the cost and with a lot of color variety. Um, I would recommend trying out Melody Susie just to kind of have an idea of what you might be getting. That's a really pretty nude. So I did decide to go in with this beautiful nude color in 9.9 on both my index and my middle finger. On my ring finger, I went in with the color 775, which is a beautiful white. And then on my pinky finger, I went in with the color H. 3-3 which is this really gorgeous uh, gold glitter and I did go in with two coats of each polish Alrighty, so this is what all the nails look like after two uh, coats of gel polish next I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna do a gold French tip on my index finger I'm just gonna take my mixing palette here and put just a little bit of this gold polish on here so that I can create my outline. I'm gonna grab a random liner brush that's close to me. I'm just gonna grab this one here, and I'm gonna go ahead and create my French tip. I'm gonna take a little bit of the gel polish on my liner brush, and I'm just gonna create um, the French tip here. So I'm just gonna go on the side and create the line, and come on the other side, create the line. And I like for them to kind of meet in the middle, like so. And if it looks crooked, I'll just go in and fix it as needed. So it looks crooked to me, I'm gonna go in right here and fix it, like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, use the rest of the gel polish from the bottle and just fill that on in. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. So that is what this nail looks like. I am gonna move on to the next nail. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the um, ring finger here. And on this nail, I'm actually gonna add some charms and some, um, I'm gonna add some charms. So I'm actually gonna add these two charms right here. I wanna take this cute little clay bear and add it to the nail, it's so adorable. And then I'm also gonna take these hearts here. I'm gonna take maybe the smallest hearts and um, put them on the nail as well. I really like these because they're actually color changing hearts. I'm gonna go ahead and coat this whole nail with my Blingit Gel from Lisette. I've really been enjoying this. I like to use my number four gel brush when I'm using her Blingit Gel as well. And so I'm gonna go in with just a thin layer and apply that to the entire nail. And what's nice about this Bling It Gel is that it, it does dry to a non-tack surface, meaning that it's no wipe, and then it also doesn't have any air bubbles, which I also really enjoy. So now I'm gonna go in and add my little teddy bear to the nail. It's kind of heavy, so I actually have to place it on right here like so. Just gonna drop it on the nail and then move it where I want it to be. And right here is just fine. And then next I'm gonna go in with my hearts. I'm just gonna kind of put them kind of all over the nail, kind of making it a little bit bigger as I get closer to the bear. And put one like right here. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so cute. Okay, so that is this nail right here. And then next, I'm gonna go ahead and try to go in with this aquarium nail. So, I've seen a couple of tutorials that Lisette has done, and so I actually just watched one of her tutorials last night, 
and she does use her blinket gel for um, adhering the um, full cover tip to kind of create the um, I guess snow globe in a sense and she actually uses the same size nail for um, the snow globe as well so that's what I'm going to attempt to go in and do so this is a, five, a size 5 so I have another size 5 tip here and I'm just going to lay it right on top here so that's the goal here and what she does is she goes in with a thin layer of her blanket gel over the entire nail and I'm going to apply that to the entire surface of the nail and she said it's important to go in with a thin layer so I'm trying to make it as thin as possible this is my first time actually doing snow globe slash aquarium nails and it's also my first time doing it on a set of press-ons so We'll see how this ends up working out, you guys. So then I'll let the product self-level a bit here. So the way she showed it in her video is to take the nail, and then you take your full cover tip, and then you just lay it right on top, like so. And the goal is to just make sure the edges are touching. So you slightly press it into the gel, and you just want to make sure that it's secured. I don't see that it's touching in the back. Oh, there we go. It's touching in the back. I guess like so. Okay. I guess that's okay. I'll go ahead and cure that. And while that's curing, I'm just gonna take some of my, um, some kind of like plastic post-it notes. I'm gonna take one of these and just kind of draw the closure piece. So again, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the blanket gel here. And she really just kind of created just like a small closure. So I'm just gonna paint some on here that's wide enough to be a closure, like so. And I think this is plenty. Okay, so this is what I have and I'll go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. This is my little aquarium situation I got going on. I'm gonna take some more of this blanket gel and just kind of put it around the outline of where the two pieces meet just to make sure that it's all secure. So I'm just gonna put some gel right there in the crevice and do that around the entire nail. And that's just to make sure it has a good seal and that none of the oil that I add into it seeps through. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60. And it looks like my little closure has already cured in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and just peel that off very carefully. Yeah, perfect. That's really cool. That worked like a charm and it's non-stick. So I'll be applying that on once the nails are done. So I think that this is secure. This is actually my first time doing this, so I pray and hope that I got it right. Um, so the only way to find out is to go ahead and add that oil, no, isn't it? So now I'm gonna add some oil to the inside of the nail here. And one thing that she did state is to not have any air bubbles in here. So that's what I'm going to try to do. So I'm going to go in with my Young Nails uh, Rose Cuticle Oil because that's what I always use. And I guess I'm going to just fill it on up. I'm really nervous about this part, y'all. Wish me luck. <laughs> so now I'm just going to take that and fill it on in. Looks like it's working. So far, so good. Oh, I messed up, you guys. I think I was supposed to add the, um, ah, I was supposed to add the sequins and stuff to it. Okay, I got too ahead of myself. So let me back up a little bit. I did want to add these little charms to it, or these little shattered pieces of glass, as well as these little hearts. So I actually, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that without wasting this. <laughs> oil I completely forgot so I wanted to add in white hearts black hearts and gold hearts so let me see if I can put some of that in there she said it was easier to like just put one in at a time so that's what I'm gonna try to do Ugh, I totally should have did that first oh my gosh you guys I think I messed up sad face 
Cause now I don't think the oil is gonna let it get in there, but we'll see. Hopefully it still goes. Okay, yeah, it's going. Okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it. I think adding the sequins in one by one was definitely the most time consuming part of this entire process i think in general the snow globe says aquarium nails if you use lisette's um, method is actually fairly easy to do um but it took me forever trying to get these little pieces in here and it didn't help that i forgot to add them before i added the oil so a lot of them got stuck in the oil at the top of the nail and i tried my best to capture as much of it as i could but it was a struggle because i added the oil before i added the the inside pieces um i think that's why they're all floating at the top so i'm gonna continue to add the oil in here like so and hopefully this stuff moves, y'all. Ah, I hope it does. <laughs> it's looking like it's gathering at the top, so that's definitely one mistake here. So I'm gonna try to grab this and just like push this stuff in down in there. Oh, sad face, it's like stuck at the top. Oh, this makes me sad, y'all. I think it would've worked out really well, though. That's a user error on my end. Okay, y'all, I really struggled with trying to get these sequins down into that oil. Um, I tried adding more cuticle oil. I even went and got a safety pin um, to try and see if I could use like the sharp needle part to push the sequins down. And y'all, I was at this for a good like 45 minutes trying to get these sequins in here. And I was out of frame the whole time, so I apologize that the footage wasn't all that great, but I wanted to leave as much in as possible. And then finally, Oh, there we go. Yay. Okay. So we got that scooted down into the oil. Wow. Look. Oh my gosh. Let's see if this little piece can go. So that's something here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really hope I didn't puncture anything on the sides. And she said no air bubbles, so no air bubbles will be there. Okay, that's the best we got, y'all. So it definitely works. <laughs> the only thing is I wish that these little hearts over here would move a little bit more. So I'm gonna just play around with maybe trying to add some more pieces to here or trying to get these further down. I'll be right back. I was able to go in with a needle and uh, move all the pieces down to the bottom. So I'm hoping that by me filling it all the way up and not leaving any air bubbles that it actually moves. So here's to hoping you guys, whoop, that oil went right to the back. So I'm gonna continue to fill it up here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try to seal it um, I think I first need to get rid of all this oil. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that off camera. I'm gonna just take a lint-free wipe and some alcohol and wipe it off. And I'm gonna take this little piece here that's supposed to seal it. And I am going to add just a little bit of the blanket gel to the back of it to create the closure. So I'll take it and I'll flip it around like this. Flip it around like this and secure it. So it looks like it's making contact. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that in place. So this is what we have so far. So I did decide on the pinky nail to go ahead and go in with that 99 color. And I'm gonna keep the pinky nail pretty simple. Um, I do have these beautiful flowers that I got from Amazon. Um, and I'm gonna go in with the red flowers here. And so what I'm gonna do is go in with my Beatles rhinestone glue here at the kind of bottom cuticle area and just apply a little bit here. Put it around this area. All right. I'm gonna go in with the top coat on the rest of the nail. And from there, I'm gonna go ahead and add these beautiful flowers here right at the cuticle, just to jazz it up a bit. And in the center of all of them, I'm gonna just put a dot of my top coat here. And then that I'm gonna add the, the gold balls to the inside of the nail, to the inside of the flower. So I'm gonna add it like this. We'll do one, two, and three. That's pretty. 
actually I might add a little bit at the top too. The top is looking a little plain. So I think I might just add some at the top as well. Maybe I'll just add two little flowers here, like so. And then I'll cure that for 60 seconds. Alrighty, so this is what the thumbnail is looking like so far. So this is what we have thus far for the sets. Not really sure how I'm feeling about this teddy bear on this nail, but I'm gonna continue on with the process. I am gonna go ahead and file off and shape this little piece here. I'm just gonna kinda get as close as possible. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna just file that down. This is what we have so far. I'm gonna add just a little bit of cuticle bling to all the nails. I'm gonna go in with this red bling here and it's gonna be some simple cuticle bling. I'm gonna use my Beatles uh, rhinestone glue as well as the top coat and then we'll get into the finished look, okay? This is what the nails are looking like so far. So I don't know, while I do like the teddy bear and um, a way for me to kind of tie the teddy bear in was to um, put it underneath the light, right? And then it'll turn red. Let me show you guys. So while I do like this, right? I feel like it doesn't really go with the set the way I want it to. So I actually am gonna scrap this nail, unfortunately. As cute as it is, y'all, I know with the cute little teddy bear, I'm gonna have to scrap it, and I think I ended up liking this nail better, right? So I feel like this kind of tied the set in a little bit more. Um, let me know which uh, set or variation you guys prefer more, but I'm thinking this one looks a little bit better for me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and all my cuticles, uh, throw my press on nails on, and then we'll get into the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am loving how this set turned out. Do y'all see my little snow globe aquarium nail? Y'all see it moving? Oh my goodness. Can y'all see it moving? Yeah, can y'all see? Y'all see? Eee. It's hard to tell y'all, but it's moving. That is so cool. This is so cool. I love the fact that it's actually moving. That's really cool. I can sit here and look at these nails all day long, y'all. That is so cool. And yeah, I'm loving how the thumbnail turned out. I'm really happy with my decision to go ahead and switch out this nail. Um, I did go in with some stickers from um, Amazon. Um, I'll leave these linked down below if they're still available. Um, but yeah, y'all, what do y'all think about my Manny? This is my second V-Day Manny, and she is giving all type of life. I'm really happy I was able to master this aquarium nail. It is so cute okay so yeah it's actually a lot easier than i thought it would be so i was happy about that overall my final thoughts on the melody suzy gel polishes you guys this is my second time reviewing a kit from them and i must say i absolutely love their gel polishes they really like i said put me in the mind of madame glam polishes really high quality really opaque um self-leveling just yeah these are a1 polishes so i would highly recommend them i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday thursdays in particular are my nail therapy thursday premieres where i tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye